Hey folks, this is Jake Davis, and on the Fly Review for you, and today I'm talking about The Flash, released nationwide today. Movies directed by Andy Muschietti, Andy Muschietti, however you pronounce the guy who directed the It movies. This film stars Ezra Miller, Michael Keehan, Ben Affleck, Sasha Calais, I think, Jeremy Irons, uh, Ron Livingston, Kiersey Clemens, and Michael Shannon. This is, uh... No, a continuation of the DCEU, which has had four or five soft reboots in its 10 year history, only 13 movies, and has never really, in all honesty, gotten its feet off the ground. I think Man of Steel is one of the best superhero movies of all time. I think Wonder Woman and Aquaman were highly uh, satisfactory and successful motion pictures. I thought Shazam was a really fun movie. I think people are too hard. On Suicide Squad, Dawn of Justice, Justice League, they ain't as bad as people make out like they are. Birds of Prey, though? Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> <coughs> the whole setup here is years after the events of Justice League, we catch up with Barry Allen, and he's really in a stressed out, depressed rut of things right now. Uh, not happy with his professional work, not happy with his superhero work. Uh, once again, coming up against dead ends and brick walls on trying how to, uh, help and acquit his father and just eventually finds out, realizes that he can properly alter time. Uh, and while doing so, he's, uh, attacked and thrown out into a wild alternate version of 10 years past. Um, he comes across a younger version of himself, temporarily loses his powers, has to hunt down Michael Keane's Batman so they can rescue Supergirl and go stop General Zod. <laughs> I mean, it is an adaptation of Flashpoint, which I would far, I mean, over this, I would definitely recommend the Flashpoint Paradox, just like I even watched it, uh, after I'd gotten home, uh. I didn't dislike this movie. I liked the movie. I'm going to give it four stars. But the problem is, and I, it's very difficult to set my, separate myself from this concept. As I've said before, talk about before, I grew up a DC kid. I love Marvel. I love Daredevil, Spider-Man, the X-Men, Captain America. I love these characters. Um, but DC was always my jam, you know. The, when I was of the age of reading monthlies, the, the you know, it was Batman, Superman, GL, Kyle Rayner, and Superboy, the Metropolis Kid. You know, these were like some of my favorites. This this my shit, you know? And I was really stoked to see The Flash. I think I've said this before in the suit, but The Flash was the first superhero I ever drew uh, as a kid. Um, I wanted a Flash movie. I said before that I thought Flash could have been... DC's answer to the bright, colorful, vibrant, tongue-in-cheek world of Spider-Man that Sam Raimi had made. <clears throat> we don't get that movie. Um, I am very happy that we finally have all six major DC superheroes have their own films now. We've had Batman, Superman, Green Lantern, uh, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and now The Flash. Add on top of that, that Captain Marvel, The Justice League, and even World's Finest all have their own movies. Hell, Jonah Hetz has a movie. Uh, DC, in its biggest form, its biggest characters, as, as, I mean, they've been showcased, even if it's not in the glorious way that Marvel was, which is so, so shameful. They had a 30-year head start, guys. They had a 30-year head start. <sighs> and even after waiting for someone else to take the risk and lay out the template, they still fucked it up. Wow. Wow. Um, it's not the Flash movie I wanted to see. It's not the Flash movie I would have made or greenlit. <laughs> but is, as it is, what is presented and promoted, I think, a good movie. Predictable? Yes. 
but a good movie. Humor lands. The action is exciting. I love the balance of drama, action, and comedy. I liked the visual effects. There's some uncanny valley. Yes, indeed. But not to a distracting degree. Like, like say we had Justice League. Like the opening shot of the movie. Like my wife said. When the first shot of your big superhero movie is just like eye-gougingly bad CGI... It's hard to get into. It's hard to to go up from there. Um, I mean, I guess it's, I gotta talk about the elephant in the room, and this is the individual of Ezra Miller, the human himself, shimself, whatever. <coughs> I did not like his take. On Barry Allen in 2017. I didn't think it was particularly good in the movie. He was playing Tom Holland Spider-Man. Not playing Barry Allen. In this we get more Barry Allen. He's more mature. Patient. Focused. Determined. Uh, the age is, is weird on him. And you get the more wild rambunctious Barry we had in the first movie. In the younger version of Barry. And I thought Ezra did a very good job carrying the film, creating a character that we are really that we root for and want to succeed uh throughout the film. Uh I thought Bear, I thought he did a good job. But there's no getting around it. This is the most toxic leading man in maybe the history of movies. No movie has ever been faced with the opening weekend with this dilemma. This man Ezra Miller should be in a court courthouse, not a premiere. Kidnapping, statutory rape, physical assault, assault with a deadly weapon, a home invasion, and some of this shit's on film. Uh, understand? It's to the point where Di uh, Warner Brothers kind of feels just release it. Hopefully, people enjoy it. They've almost already acceptedly taken an L on this movie already. I don't think it's going to make us money. I don't think people are going to forgive or overlook uh, Ezra's, Ezra Miller's actions. Even if... Even if people... You find an audience of people, small group of people, don't even know what's been going on in the news in real life with this guy. Well, were they fans of his performance in Justice League? Uh, to come see it, and that's a big if, that's a big maybe. So then you got, well, who's, who is your hopeful audience here? You got people who will n not go see this movie because of him. You got people who will not go see this movie because they didn't like what you did with Barry in the last films. You got people who don't want to see the movie because of what you did with the last films. <laughs> And you got to deal with the whole fatigue thing, which is why they've really promoted this movie around Michael Keane. <coughs> and don't get me wrong, it's great to see Michael Keane returns Batman after 30 years. And it's not like he just walks through it as a paycheck. He's a serious fucking actor. Uh, but that bothered me. That this, that this movie is not about Batman. <laughs> this movie is about The Flash. This movie is about Barry Allen. And I, I, I don't know, man. I like this movie. I had a really good time, and to be 100% honest with you, I've already seen it twice. But if this film even breaks even at box office, I will be surprised. Anyhow, I... If you want to see The Flash, then go see it. If you are opposing the film, avoiding the film, or downright boycotting the film for whatever various reasons, I honestly understand and condone it. I'm going to give the movie four stars. So if you want to see it, I think it's a movie worth seeing. It satisfies, it entertains, and it does its job. It, it lives up to what it promises to bring. Uh, but I'm expecting a bomb. I'm expecting a huge box office disaster of this movie. Anyhow, I'm Jake Davis. I'll catch you on the fly.